Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke, and if you happen to be like totally new here, you've never seen me before, I do ASMR videos, which are like these relaxation videos that a lot of people really, really like. Uh, some people think they're super weird, but I'm one of those that really, really like them, and maybe you will too. I also do a lot of health-related videos because I do eat a plant-based diet, and I'm also in my third trimester. I am 28, almost 29 weeks pregnant. So, today's video is going to be a vlog. You are just gonna follow me around. Not quite yet, because I'm going to work, um, but then after work, you're gonna follow me around. I've got um, a couple things to show you. I'm going to be making some food. I'm just gonna be like showing you how how I eat basically and then I am also going to be doing my glucose test today uh, which if you don't know what that is it's basically a test that women do while they're pregnant to see if they have gestational diabetes which is diabetes that you basically only get when you're pregnant um, I don't have any signs or symptoms as far as I know it's just something that everyone kind of has to do so apparently it's miserable uh, we'll see <laughs> can't wait and then I'm also at the end of this video going to be um, I went I asked a bunch of questions on Instagram or I asked people to ask me questions on Instagram yesterday and a bunch of people came in and asked questions all about my natural birth and um, why I'm doing it at a birth center because at a birth center you don't have access to an epidural, to medication, to a doctor. Um, like you don't have access to all of those regular hospital things. Um, and so a lot of people had questions about it and I was really surprised. So. I'm just gonna talk quickly about those at the end of this video as well, if I remember. Don't let me forget. Um, and yeah, yeah, I think it's just really interesting because it's stuff that like a lot of people just have never heard about before because they've never given birth, so they've never had like the option to do a natural birth, or they just thought that like my boyfriend, he literally thought the only place to give birth was at a hospital. He thought that like only weirdos or people in third world countries did it at home, but those were the only two options, and that's so not the case. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to provide a little bit of insight as to my particular um, stance on it and journey with it, and then yeah, you know, answer some of the questions that I had on Instagram, but in video format so that more people could see the response. So, uh, I have to go to work, but I just wanted to pop in here and say hi before I do that, and I will see you guys soon. Alright, so we are back. We are home from work. It is 2.30, and I'm going to heat up what I ate for dinner last night. Um, it's this, I made some homemade curry soup. It's basically like a full can of diced tomatoes and uh, I blended them up with some green curry paste almost is what it was and some coconut cream and I made like a, a chili soup and then I made some spicy, excuse me, some spicy baked tofu. Well first I fried it in a pan and then I baked it just to kind of dry it out and I'll show you that too. There's that. So I'm just going to mix those two together and eat those for lunch. And you might be thinking, but Brooke, wait, don't you have to take your glucose test in like two and a half hours? Well, yes. And usually you do have to fast um, for I think 12 hours or eight hours or something like that before you take your glucose test. But mine is special, so uh, I wanna show you it. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm going to a hippy dippy natural place, um, the birth center, so I don't know if it's because of that or if they just have new glucose tests that you don't have to fast for or what, but here is mine. It is uh, the lemon lime flavor. I was going to choose orange, but she said that the lemon lime um, tastes like a flat Sprite, so I was like, I like Sprite, <laughs> so I chose this one, and then on the back it says, the one hour glucose challenge test instructions. One, no special diet needs to be followed, no need to fast. 
Two, drink glucola chilled for flavor. Do not eat, drink, um, or chew gum after glucola. It's okay to use the restroom. Start timing when you begin to drink glucola, the first sip. Drink the entire contents within five minutes. Note the time that you finish. Drink glucola 45 minutes before your appointment, and then when you are checked in, please let the midwife know what time you drank the glucola. Tips are eat a high protein dinner the night before and breakfast the morning of your test. Bring something to eat after your blood draw. And that's it. So um, I've heard that this thing is basically poison. Um, I don't know, I honestly haven't even looked at the ingredients. Don't care, I'm not gonna refuse to take it. Some people do. Um, just being in the plant-based community, I do see like that a lot of people won't drink this and instead they opt for like orange juice or something else really sugary. I'm I'm honestly not sure, but uh, but but I don't I don't care. I'm just gonna do what they tell me to do. Uh, it's it's just it's just a little easier that way. So that's what I'm gonna do while I wait for this to heat up. I've just been munching on some carrots with hummus. One of you guys actually left me a comment of a really easy recipe for homemade hummus. I've tried so many different kinds of recipes and honestly I hate all of it. The only kind, like even other brands of hummus, I don't like very much. I just like the Sabra brand of hummus. So uh, I will try that recipe probably within the next couple weeks. I'm gonna try it and see how it goes and I'll let you know how it goes too. So let you know if I like it because I would love to make it homemade and uh, I would be saving so much plastic that way, but yeah, I just, I just don't like it. It's just not good. And I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's because I don't have a high power blender so I can't get like that smooth and creamy consistency. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go eat and then yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. The time has come. It is time to take this stuff. And you know what, I, I've looked it up and some people said it's really not that bad and then other people said that doing this whole process was the single worst time of their whole pregnancy. So like, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, okay. So yeah, it just says to drink it within five minutes. And in my head, I'm like, it's just this tiny little thing. I could chug this. We'll see if it's chuggable. Okay. Let's see if it tastes like flat Sprite. Yeah, it does taste like flat Sprite, but flat Sprite tastes worse than I thought it did. like I can't chug things like I can't just like open my throat and let stuff go in that's why I'm really bad at taking shots and why I never take shots I get really bad anxiety if somebody offers me a shot for some reason but like the reason why I don't take shots is because I can't just like let it go down my throat it just sits in my mouth like this until I swallow it so it's like really gross and then horrible pain <laughs> so it's just it's not I don't do shots and I can't chug oh okay yeah there's still a lot left <sighs> oh it's making my stomach feel all funky I don't feel good. There it is. I'm just kind of stuck here. Yeah, it's a cool little, little area. Not convenient to turn. So apparently it snowed while I was in my appointment. It's still snowing a little bit. 
but yeah, so there's that. Wow, this lighting is fab. So here's the stitch. Um, I had to get four tubes of blood drawn, which is fine. I'm, I'm cool with blood, I'm cool with needles. It's not very easy for me because I have little veins, but you know, we made it work. And uh, I am RH negative. I have a negative blood type, which means that if uh, my baby has a positive blood type, Chances are this pregnancy, everything would be fine. Um, but it's for like my future pregnancies. I need a shot of Rogam to help prevent my body from building up antibodies that would essentially try to destroy like any future RH positive babies that I had. Because since it's a complete opposite blood type from mine, my blood, my body could create antibodies against it and be like, we need to get this out of here. Um, chances are this one would be fine, but it's just for like future pregnancies, this one and the, the future. So I have to get a shot of Rogam if this baby, um, just as a preventative measure in case this baby had a positive blood type. However, um, if CJ, the father of the baby, if he also has a negative blood type, then the baby, chances are, is going to have a negative blood type as well, and we won't need the shot of Rogam. Anyway, they wanted to give it to me today, but I said to wait, um, like a couple days, and so now we have a few days, we have a couple days until Friday, and um, if CJ does not figure out his blood type by then, then I have to get that shot. It's, again, I'm not afraid of needles, I don't hate shots, I don't, like, I don't feel pain. <laughs> um, it's just, I would rather not get a shot of something that I don't need. So, yeah, there is that. So. CJ, oh, you're probably wondering where the heck is CJ? Well, I'll tell you. He is in Florida right now, the bastard. <laughs> He's in Florida. Um, our roommate, Ian, um, went up to CJ, not yesterday, but the day before, and was like, hey, do you want to go to Florida with me tomorrow? And CJ was like, yeah. So they're having a little mini boys trip. It was literally like a 26 hour trip. So it was super short, but they've allegedly, from what I've heard, um, I've been trying not to bother them. But when CJ has called me and stuff, he's been like, we're having a great time. So um, they're having a nice little, a nice little getaway. I'll be honest. Um, I was really, really jealous um, when he told me I got it's partly the pregnancy, partly just because I'm a jerk, but when he asked if he could, I, this is just me being completely transparent with you, flipped out. And I was just, I was so jealous and so blinded by jealousy of like, wait, you get to go on a trip? Because they're also going on a trip for work. They like won it for free. They're going on a cruise in January. And I, so I was like, you get to go on two trips, but I don't even get to go on one. I hate you. Like, it's not fair. I deserve a vacation. And I like started crying and I flipped out. <laughs> and, um, immediately afterwards I felt so bad and so guilty because I was like, I just, I felt really, really crappy about it. I shouldn't have had that reaction, but I, I did. And so I apologized profusely and I was just like, listen, I'm so sorry. I, I'm excited for you. And that's why I was jealous. Like I'm, I'm jealous because it's such a cool thing that you get to just like go. And I just wish that I could go because I'm, you know, I, mama needs a vacation too. So, uh, yeah. So that's just me being completely transparent with you. And it's embarrassing to me because I wish that I hadn't acted like that. It's just like, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. I was, cause I was like mean about it too. I was just like, I deserve a vacation way more than you guys do. And blah, 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 blah. And I apologize for that as well, because I was like, I don't deserve anything more than you guys do. Like I, that was just me in the moment. The green eyed monster was like in my head. And I was just so jealous that I was saying stuff that I didn't mean, but Real talk, I am super excited that he's coming home. <laughs> it's been a long day without him, but I'm, I'm happy that he's coming home soon, and I 
yeah, he needs to figure out his damn blood type because I, I don't want to get a shot if I don't have to. Um, so yeah, anyways, I don't know how I got on that tangent, but, uh, I was going to go and, like, try to get a treat of some kind, like a donut or something, but it's still snowing. It looks like it snowed probably, like, an inch or two, so nothing crazy, um, just a little, a little dusting, and, yeah, I better just, I better just get home. I'm in the big truck, so I'll be safe, but, and I also don't film while I drive, so that's not going to happen, but I... Yeah, I just want to be as safe as possible, you know, for the baby. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go home, I think. No treats for me. Again, I deserve treats way more than <laughs> whatever. So I'm just cooking myself some dinner, and I wanted to show you that. It's going to be a really healthy... Sorry, I just... I'm always... I'm always hiccuping and like burping during this pregnancy, but it's a really healthy burrito bowl almost because I was really craving Chipotle, but I was like, I don't want to spend $10 on a burrito when I can just make one at home. And this way I can make it exactly the way I want to. So I wanted to give you guys a good plant-based recipe. It's not, it doesn't include any fake meat, no fake cheese. It's not for vegans. It's just if you want a healthy burrito bowl that uh, doesn't have meat in it because we should all, every one of us should be cutting down on our meat consumption. So I just want to show you kind of quickly how I'm making that. And then I did say in the beginning of this video that I was going to be addressing um, different aspects of a natural birth and answering some of the questions more in depth that I got on my Instagram. But this video is long enough, so I'm just gonna cut it off after the recipe and I'm going to film um, the answers to those questions and everything uh, for another video. It'll be out this week because if you guys don't know, I'm doing Vlogmas, so I'm uploading every single day in December or up until Christmas. Haven't decided yet, but anyway. So first, I've got some stuff in a pan. That's what you can hear sizzling. Um, and what that is, is it's one very small onion, probably about eh, this big, so pretty small. And then I have two also very small russet potatoes that both fit, you know, in the palm of my hand. They were really small, um, just little baby ones that I still had in my pantry. I didn't even know that I had them. But what I'm doing is I'm frying them up in a pan and I actually used a little bit of coconut oil, which again, rare for me, um, but I have some unrefined organic virgin coconut oil and this actually does have a little bit of a coconut taste. So uh, maybe if you don't want that taste, get a different kind, maybe like a, a refined coconut oil. But anyways, I would have used some kind of like spray Pam type situation um, just so it would be lower in calories and things like that. But the thing is, most of those um, spray spray butters, I guess, um, spray lubricants for food, they actually have... Um, a lot of really nasty stuff in them that you don't want any part in. Uh, so it's just, I'm not interested in that and I would much rather have a lot higher fat and a lot higher calories using the real oil than uh, the spray lubricant. Passport, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're so silly. So I'm just frying up these potatoes and what these potatoes are going to be used for is the rice. This is going to be the base of my burrito. I was going to just make some rice, but I just, to be honest, one, was not feeling rice, and two, lately I've been, every time I get rice, I think, wow, this is just a whole lot of empty calories for no reason, because it doesn't even, like, taste good. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's just me. I've just been kind of riced out lately. So I'm making some potatoes instead. I season them with red pepper flakes, some... Um, salt and pepper, and what else did I use? Oh, some steak and chop seasoning. Um, obviously meat-free, but I used it just to kind of give a little something-something to the potatoes. 
and I'm just going to let them cook here. Um, also, I just want to say, once again, I say this every time I use oil, I do not believe that oil is a healthy food or even a healthy part of your diet. I don't think that anybody should be using olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, whatever it is on the regular. I just don't think that it's a health food. And um, despite what you might see on Pinterest, uh, it really, it does not do anything for your body except um, provide you with a bunch of empty calories and saturated fats. So. There's that. I found a can of these green chilies. They look like this. Mmm. And I found a can of them in my pantry and I was like, you know what, I want to use these up. So I actually uh, diced up two of those and added them to the potato mixture. And now I'm going to just let it sit for just a second. I want my, tato my, my potatoes to get nice and crispy. And then I'm going to be adding some red kidney beans and some tomatoes. Now would also be the time if you had any red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, you know, any kind of um, peppers or veggies that you would want to add, now would be the time to add them. But I don't have any on hand, so I'm not going to. But um, I do have the tomatoes, and I'm not going to add those quite yet just because I don't want the liquid to like make the potatoes mushy. I want them nice and crispy. But I also want to say if you would rather use rice for this or even riced cauliflower, um, that would be great, but I just don't. <laughs> Every time I've eaten rice lately, it's just been a serious letdown, so that's why I'm using potatoes. Not that there's <coughs> anything wrong with rice. Um, yeah, it's just not my preference right now. And um, yeah, even if you wanted to use like sweet potatoes, red potatoes, whatever kind of potato, Go ahead, get crazy with it. Or if you want no carbs at all, okay. <laughs> Just add extra beans, whatever. I don't care what you do. My potatoes are getting nice and crispy. The onions are getting all caramelized and brown. And then I have those chilies in there. So now I'm just gonna add my kidney beans. So I've got some dark red kidney beans. Eh, you know what they look like. Here could also be the time where if you wanted to add some tofu um, or something like that, maybe a plant-based meat, that would also be a good time to add that. But I'm just going to be adding my kidney beans. Now to pull it all together, I've just got some diced tomatoes. I'm gonna try not to get too much of the liquid in there, just the diced tomatoes, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Any other veggies you wanna add? If you wanna add some corn, um, if you like cilantro, that could be a good time to add that. Of course, add things like greens, like um, shredded lettuce, don't add those until the end um, when you're actually putting together and assembling your, oh no, your bowl. Delicious. I need passport. Add just about half of it to a bowl. That looks good. And the best part about this is that it's not calorie dense at all so you can eat a lot of it. So if I am still hungry after this, I will just grab the rest. Then I've got half of an avocado here. You could mash it up, make some guacamole if you want to, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to add it in little chunks into my mixture, just to add some of that creaminess. And I'm telling you, if you add guacamole, if you add avocado, if your burrito is flavorful enough, you're not going to miss the sour cream. You're just not. And if you really are, go with a plant-based sour cream. It's much better for you than the real thing. Okay, so then, just gonna give it a mix, and I'm going to add one final ingredient. It is this green Mexican salsa in the medium level of spice, right here. 
I don't know how this ended up in my in my um, refrigerator, but it did, so. I've really been enjoying it. You could add some sriracha, you could add some pico de gallo, you could add some red salsa, whatever you want. Girl, I don't care. <laughs> it's delicious, or no salsa. Yum. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you did enjoy it um, and that if if you did, you know, enjoy it, that you're gonna be back for tomorrow's video and the next video after that because I am filming a lot of videos in December. I haven't officially said in a video yet that it's Vlogmas just because I don't want to fail and have people be like, you bet you said you were gonna upload, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna do my best. I'm pregnant, I'm tired, I'm busy, but we all have stuff going on and some people can do Vlogmas, so. I'm also going to try, but I'm just going to go eat my dinner, edit this video, and upload it for you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Make sure to keep an eye on the channel for that video coming up about me answering all those questions about a natural birth, and I will see you there. Bye!